comes back to, um, you know, what do you do with people face to face and how do you kind of get that feeling um, in a more virtual environment? Um, and so, you know, I do a lot of travel, so to try to check in with teams that are at remote locations, maybe not even my teams, but teams that I rely on to get work done. Just go out to where they're at and spend time bringing them along. Where are things at in the business? You know, eating lunch together, eating meals together. Um, just kind of hanging out, developing those relationships. And then when you get back, it's important to kind of follow up and behave more like you said you would when you were visiting um, that workplace. So that can be one thing. You know, I went on a recent trip um, to visit a team that's out in, um, in one of our India offices, and they gave me a lot of good feedback about how they wanted to understand more of the broader um, business context. And so I immediately started, you know, taking some of my meeting notes and, and, and giving that out to the whole team. Hey, here's what's happening in the business. Here's the broader context. Your work fits within this. But before I was just giving them kind of like, oh, here's, here's what your work is and, and here's how it's making an impact without giving them the bigger picture. So that was something practical. They gave me feedback and it's important to come back and take that feedback and put it into practice. I also think it's important when you have meetings where you have people who are attending virtually to make sure that you pause and give them time to contribute. I think we've all been on the other end of the video conference or the phone and it, boy, it's so hard to kind of interject and make a contribution to the meeting um, when there isn't any time to pause. You always feel like you're cutting someone off. So if you're the leader running the meeting, make sure you're sensitive to that. Pause, take a break, ask, hey, did you, you, know, did you have something to contribute to that? Be ultra sensitive to when people are trying to, um, to interrupt. Um, and, and make a point. So, and, and then tr just try to kind of come back around to them, right? So, um, you know, there'll be many cases where three people will kind of try to make a point at once. Call on the first person, but don't forget the other two. Um, and after the first person is done and say, oh, I think you had something to add, or I think I interrupted you and cut you off. Did you have a point that you wanted to make? So it can be as basic as, um, as, as meeting etiquette. But I think, you know, do the travel, get them out to where you're at, get out to where they are. Um, and then, you know, make sure that you take the feedback and be as inclusive and as broad of, you know, filling in some of the blanks they get, they don't get from being remote um, in your emails, in your notes, in the way that you communicate. And then being very conscientious during meetings that not everybody is in the room, but you do want everybody to participate.